All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Georgia Tech's AI class. That's part of their online master's program. I'm in the program and I took the class in spring 2022. So I wanted to show you guys what it's like and hopefully give you some tips and tricks that will save you some headache. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the class. So basically it's a medium hard class leaning more towards hard. It takes about average 20, per, 20 hours per week. And one of the projects is not graded, so they take your low score and throw it out, which is nice so that you get wiggle room there. So projects, the first project is tri-directional search. In this project, you get a map of cities, and you're supposed to program some algorithms for it, um, namely these seven here. So breadth first, uniform cost, a star, uh, the bidirectional form of those first two, uh, first, sorry, uniform and A star and then tri-directional. So I won't go into details on each search algorithm because I have done that in the article which is linked in the description below. So check that out if you want to do some you know practice problems for them. But you basically just compute some best paths between some cities using these algorithms. And the last part I will talk a little bit about which is tri-directional search. So you get three cities and you want to find the route between the three cities that's the shortest. So if they give you A, C, and E, you want to find the route that would be the least costly to go from all three cities. The biggest part about this project that I would say like my biggest advice is to sw switch between the three cities uh, when you're expanding your paths. So you know go to the first city A expand the paths so you get some new paths don't keep expanding A's paths go to the second city which was C and start to expand C's paths and likewise don't continue expanding C's paths go to E and then expand E's paths and just keep rotating amongst the three that way you'll find the best path between them all yeah, next project is isolation. So I didn't actually do this project because I was on call that week and didn't get around to it. So you can basically look at the public repo they have in their GitHub to just take a look. You're basically implementing an AI algorithm that will play this game for you called uh, isolation. So you're a little block in this world and you're trying to cut off all the paths for your opponent block here and I didn't do it like I said I don't know the details uh, it looks pretty cool they give you like an interactive game you can even test your agent against so that's a really cool spotlight project if you want for like your resume or something next project here is Bayes Nets so Bayes Nets is gonna be conditional probability and you're gonna be implementing some conditional probability using a Python package called pygmy pie and here's one example from the documentation of their package um, you're basically going to be saying like, hey, if I'm taking a class and oh, the difficulty level of the class is, you know, easy, and then intelligence level of the student is like me, okay, dumb. The last three rows here are what are the percentage chance that I get a grade A or a B or a C. All right, decision trees is another project you'll do. I won't go into that, but it's essentially what you do in machine learning for trading if you've ever taken that but if you haven't taken that you basically are just gonna get these data points and you make a decision tree in numpy um, splitting on each column with a certain threshold on each column alright Gaussian mixture models this one is the toughest project by far and it is k-means clustering to start out so you're given some data points and you're supposed to group those data points into clusters. Here's an image. So you basically take the pixels and you make two groups. Uh, so basically two colors and you represent the picture in only two colors. The next part is the toughest part. Multivariate Gaussian mixture models. So this is the public repo. Multivariate Gaussians first of all are just like Gaussians for example in 2D. Here's a Gaussian curve but in multiple variables, so multiple dimensions. Here's the multivariate Gaussian on the right hand side. And so you're going to be coding up um, the equations to make like covariance matrices for the Gaussian. Uh, another thing, component mixing coefficient. Um, it's kind of tricky, like you want to definitely take some time beforehand to understand the uh, equations before you try to code it. 
um, last project in this class is called Hidden Markov Models. So you're given the Y coordinates of someone sign languaging in American Sign Language, and you're trying to predict what word the person is signing. So you program uh, what to do on each probability that the coordinate belongs into this state machine. Um, again, there's like a public repo for it. You can start looking at it. This is the final breakdown from me. And so, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. I do make more of these. I uh, will make more of these for other Georgia Tech classes. And I hope that they help you. So, yeah, thank you for watching.